Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the all new BMW X3 M40i. With that being said, let's get into it. Let's go over the X3 M40i. So, first off, under the hood, we have a turbocharged 3 liter inline 6 goes straight 8 speed automatic transmission, good for 382 horsepower and 369 pound feet of torque. So, this is basically a uh, Supra SUV, right? Anyways, you guys can see the body lines here on the hood. I think those look uh, fantastic. Normal BMW logo, nothing too crazy happening with that. And then you guys can see we've got these signature BMW headlights with the LED accent lights. They kind of just you know, look pretty normal. And then you can see the accenting off to the side. I think that looks great. And then uh, down below as well with the parking sensors integrated there into the front end. And you can see the camera there in the very center with the chrome front grille. And then notice the darker elements on either side. Got the M logo there on the front. And overall, it fits with BMW's normal styling. So nothing too crazy happening. But I think it's a good looking vehicle from a front end perspective. Popping here to the side, you guys can see you've got the silver trim there on the wheels. And notice how it's also kind of like blacked out in certain portions. You've got the M logo there on the brake caliper. And then you can see the body painted fender flare, the venting on the side, and then another M logo just up above. You'll, you guys will see a lot of M logos with this uh, X3. You can see there, uh, everything's body painted. The mirrors are blacked out, which definitely looks cool from an appearance perspective. Creates a little bit of contrast. And here's your full side view. Proportion-wise, uh, I think the X3 actually looks really good. The X5 is probably the best proportion-wise, but the X3 is still a really good-looking vehicle. And then you can see the tire wheel set up there, and the rear is identical, so nothing crazy happening with that. Got the new tail lights, uh, which some people love and some people don't love. I think they look pretty good, if you ask me. Got the M40i badge there on the back, and then the X3 badge on the other side. Finished in chrome so that they stand out a little bit more. And then you can see here with the parking sensors down below. And then popping open the hatch, you can see here storage space is actually really solid. So first off, got the metallic trim there. And see a little bit of storage space just underneath. And notice here with the 12 volt. But yeah, decent from a storage space perspective. I was actually impressed. Um, you know, the X3 doesn't look that massive on the outside, but it's actually pretty spacious in the interior. And then obviously power for the lowering function there. And yeah, I think, uh, again, taillights are interesting, but I think they look good overall. And then I love the exhaust tips. They're super aggressive looking. Well, the coverings, rather. And then you do have a receiver hitch there in the center. Popping over here to the side, you guys can see the door panel here. Uh, really nice from a material standpoint. You can see with all the stitching and then the trim down below. And then I love the different colors with the leather. Uh, definitely pops out. Like this interior, uh, especially in contrast to the gray and the exterior, I think pops a lot. Like look at that, it's beautiful with the coloration. And uh, the seats themselves look uh, just, you know, design wise, you minus the color still look great. Uh, room, you know, is if you want a little bit more room, go for the X5, but it's still good. Got the vents down below, got some charging ports, all that fun stuff, uh, climate controls as well. And you guys can see the whole center console set up with the cup holders that pop out. And panoramic sunroof as well. Now going from that to the front, you can see here with the front door panel, again, really nice from a material standpoint all over. Love the design with the trim. I think it's great. And then uh, the window controls actually look really nice too, aesthetically, which is another big plus. Got your memory seats, and again, you got the X there on the side. And then another M badge. Got to have a million M badges. You can see the seats here in terms of the design, the bolstering, all that fun stuff. And then power adjustments are on the side, pedals down below. And then you can see the light control just off to the side. And there's one more look for we actually pop in. So taking a step in, you can see with the steering wheel, I've got leather on the airbag cover and then on the steering wheel as well. Got the heated steering wheel control and then all your practical car controls. Got the M stitching there in the center of the steering wheel. And then this does have steering assist, paddle shifters for that eight speed automatic. And the way that BMW's tuned the ZF eight speed is just fantastic with all their cars. And then you can see here with the center gauge cluster, definitely looks solid. 
from an aesthetic perspective. Notice how it changes with the different drive modes. I think that's pretty cool. And then the infotainment system. So BMW has an upgraded infotainment system for some of their newer cars. Uh, this is the older version. I like this infotainment system. The new one's cool and flashy, but this one I feel like is great. Uh, I didn't think BMW needed to really upgrade their system, but they did, which is, you know, fine. They made something that was a great, even greater, <laughs> right? And then you can see down below, we've got some analog controls like the climate system, uh, heated seats. I think it's interesting that BMW doesn't have uh, cold seats as standard in a lot of their cars. I think that they should do that, just my personal opinion. Another M logo. Then you got some extra storage space. I think this was, this was the one that didn't want to open for me. I probably was doing it wrong. I'm going to have someone that owns this comment down below. Ben, you're an idiot. Thank you for the comment in advance. Anyways, you can see here with the controls there for like the engine stop start and then all the drive modes. Uh, I love that BMW has a drive modes individual, right? Where like there's a button for each drive mode. I think that's definitely nice to have. Analog control for the infotainment system. I think you can see the storage base there in the center console and the padding there on the top. And then pop into the glove box, you can see decent from a storage base perspective. And then you can also see the ambient lighting there and got a traditional mirror. And again, panoramic sunroof. So it has that luxury car feel. But uh, overall, I think BMW's done a great job with the X3. I think it looks great. And uh, with, you know, this particular package having the uh, quote unquote super engine definitely brings things up. Here's the option list. Feel free to freeze the frame if you want to read everything uh, that comes standard with it and all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, that is the new BMW X3. Let me know what you guys think. So we are setting off in the tracks and we are just going to do a little short drive today in the tracks. Look at that Wrangler. That thing looks pretty cool. Um, but let's actually uh, get up and move here with this thing. So first off, turbo's kind of peppy. Turbo's definitely kind of peppy. Brakes feel normal as well. Uh, steering wheel actually feels nice. Um, something you don't expect in this segment. Again, this is all about, uh, you know, low cost of entry. And so, yeah, that's definitely a pleasant surprise. And we'll get our full blown acceleration here. Ooh, torque steers a little bit. It's all wheel drive, but you can still kind of feel it. Acceleration is pretty good, actually. And the six speed automatic's decent. Uh, it's not as good as some of Chevy's other transmissions, like their 10 speed, but I, I feel like it gets the job done. So that's a uh, plus if you ask me. And uh, let's see what the handling's like. We're gonna do our, uh, this is this is our test track down here in Provo. We're gonna do our uh, go around the roundabout all the way so I can kind of see how it turns. Yeah, it does a, it does a good job. I always wonder what people at the dealerships think when I like go full circle several times. They're like, what is this person on?